ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. And now it's time for our fin final segment in this edition of The Breakfast Show. And as promised, we're going to talk about a marathon that was organized on Friday and it was entitled Youth for Egypt. This marathon was in fact organized by a group of medical students carrying the name al istiqlal or it's translated as independence and it was at the Faculty of Medicine at Qasr al-Aini University. And to talk to us in details about this very special event, we're pleased to be joined with Ahmed Haridi, who is the co-head of the Youth Marathon, and Nagla Fathi, who is the head of the Youth Marathon here in Egypt. A very good morning to you. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. And I want to start with you, Ahmed. Tell us a little bit about the uh, idea and the game, uh, uh, the aim and the goal behind this marathon okay. that you guys just organized. Actually, we are students in Qasrayani Medical School. We are a group of students in Stuklal Club. Actually, one of our aims are to strengthen the community development activities and share in the society services. And we think we are part of the society and we have the responsibility toward it. We have the mentality and effort and time and spirit. So why not, why not to share in community development? So here the idea came or generated upon two visions. First vision was mine. I was thinking about the tourism and how seriously it was, it was affected. Mm -hmm. And this was a serious complication. So I thought, what can I do to it? I have the time, as I said before, so can I share to make it better? So I came to Nagla and discussed the, the idea with her. So she came with her vision too, and as she travels a lot abroad, so the people abroad have certain stereotype about the Arabs, uh, as they had, as they are terrorist, terrorist or barbaric. So we try to make it better image. So we came up to a day for the youth to try to show up the world that we are a youth, show them their, our issues and our values. What about the response to you when you try to convince them that we are not terrorists? What about the response? Of course, uh, Nagla, uh, she was the one who traveled and they, they, they argue with them so much, so it's complicated something. They have the stereotypes, still the most of the Arabs show a bad image uh, to the world, so we try to make a better image. So when so the event will be, we intended it to make it be about the encouragement of the tourism. We are here, we are wanted to deliver a message to the world that we are here in front of the pyramids. We are the descendants of the great pharaohs. We are here today to welcome every tourist who intend to come to visit Egypt. Because Egypt is a safe, despite the rumors or sayings that say that Egypt is in secure uh, atmosphere or there are kind of riots or something. No, it's completely safe. You assure your full safety and security. We cannot deny the fact that there are instability in the country okay, and we know. insecurity, but I know that you want to tell them that. Yeah. Welcome to Egypt. Welcome to everybody here in Egypt. Yeah, and it's are. a great initiative that you're doing this yeah. to prove yes, to the world that there actually. are people here who are w willing to protect and, um, uh, and improve the conditions here in Egypt. Yeah. I want to add that uh, the most secure place is the uh, touristic place and the historic place. Uh, the security uh, um, uh, want to make these uh, places uh, very secure to uh, to encourage the tourism. So, okay, there is uh, pro protesting or something, but it is away from these places. So uh, there is no no cause to uh, prevent uh, tourism uh, tourists to come to Egypt or something or not to, to travel to Egypt. We don't have public war. We don't uh, protesting. Is just people they, uh, they are trying to uh, to. Um, to call for help or to uh, uh, say their opinion or something, but uh, uh, it, it, it doesn't relate it or uh, to anything to the tourist place. And I even talked to foreigners living here in Egypt where they were coming on a visit and they told me that it was unexpected that when they came here, it was totally against what they put in mind that yes, yeah. we yes. must yes. be secure at all. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, that's okay. what I faced uh, in Poland and in Azerbaijan. These they saw that we, we have a public poor and we are uh, not civilized and we are, we, we, we live in a uh, desert and uh, a desert and we are uh, a Bedouin. So uh, well. when they saw me, they were they were like, uh, "What? You are Egyptian? We we didn't expect that you are Egyptian. Maybe uh, another nationality or something." Uh, and uh, I tried to uh, to make like a, a group and uh, it uh, tells them about Egypt and the national food and everything and even customs to give them uh, a good impression. And I'm asking everyone who will travel to uh, to any. Um, place outside Egypt to do the same and to express uh, our uh, traditions that they like it but they don't know it. Okay. Of course, Shame. So you're like an yeah. ambassador yeah. to the country. Yeah. Okay. Very promising youth actually. Yeah. Thank you. Shame, I want to go back to the marathon. I want to know this one day event, how it was organized, meaning I want to know the program. 
Okay. So one day event, right? Oh, yes, yeah. it was it, it was one day event, but we were preparing for two months to, to <laughs> come like to this. Come uh, we started gathering uh, in front of uh, Cairo University Gate. We uh, we then uh, launched the event, at, uh, going to uh, the pyramids area. Uh, it was very exciting. Uh, uh, the students and the youth were, were were amazing, and we have uh, like ten Malaysian students and uh, uh, Syrian and uh, uh, Arabian. Uh, we went to the pyramids gate and we uh, enjoyed like uh, a break and uh, fun uh, together. Uh, and then we uh, uh, went to the Panorama 2 area at pyramids. Uh, there were um, a carnival, a small carnival showing the activities that you uh, did the last few years mm -hmm. to express that we are not uh, uh, doing everything negative. There is a positive area that we have to focus on it. And uh, there, there also. Um, tourists that joined us from Korea and uh, USA uh, and uh, we did the folklore, Egyptian traditional folklore uh, yeah, like show uh, and they enjoyed it a lot and they danced with us and there uh, were uh, music and the marathon that the, and winner from Egypt and winner from Malaysia so it was really fun, Wonderful it was very fun exciting day, right? yeah. and there were camels and they ride camels and they took a picture of welcome and we sent this picture to Turkey and the Azerbaijan and uh, Russia so, uh, so to, to call everyone from there to come to Egypt and we will extend our effort to uh, another country uh, by the volunteers who, who want peace and uh, who want to help Egypt to, to come uh, again to their place. And to show them that it's safe. Yeah, yeah. We need no, I, much effort. Right, yeah. Noemed, if you can tell me, I know there is still one more activity left in uh, the uh, program. If you can tell me what you guys are planning. Okay, we are planning to uh, record videos about the day, messages to deliver to the world about the day that we are welcoming, as I said before, to send, the, to send it abroad to the United Nations and uh, organizations to show that we are peaceful persons. There, this is peace, there is peace in Egypt, and it's okay in Egypt to come and see it. And that they are living in Egypt and their the, 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 the the whole life in Egypt. Uh, the, the video will be uh, we are living in Egypt uh, from Malaysian students, uh, from uh, tourists, from uh, Egyptians, from uh, will be like uh, the, we will record the activities they are doing, students uh, where, where they have fun and everything to show it to show the the world that we are here and we we have nothing to to be afraid from. So I met and Shamet, please continue these efforts because really Egypt needs such efforts yes, from such will, promising will. youth like you yeah. in this very critical period. But thank you so thank much you. for joining us thank this morning. You. Thank, thank you. you so much. Thank you so much. And with this, we come to our wrap-up of the breakfast show for this morning. Hopefully, you enjoyed our segments and you enjoy the beautiful view. Our here. Our very special breakfast show right. today. <laughs> exactly. As you can see, we um, it's been an amazing morning and hopefully you enjoyed it. Please enjoy the holidays today and tomorrow. Happy Easter and happy uh, Shaminisim, Egyptian Spring Festival. And don't forget to uh, taste our delicious salted fish. <laughs> you know, you're you gonna have, have a lot. to taste it first. I, I know, you're going to have a lot of them tomorrow. It. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we thank you so much. And once again, happy Easter and happy Shaminisim to everybody. And with this, we come to the end of this edition of The Breakfast Show. Please stay tuned and have a good day.